So what's good, everyone? This is your boy, DJ's Raw and Cut Truth. And uh quick video, of course, about the LeBron James, Kyrie Irving beef or whatever is out there on social media. Here's my opinion. Both things can be true. Yes, LeBron James was a better leader. And as you all seen, Kyrie wasn't so great of a leader in Boston. That is true. But you can't say that LeBron James is more clutch than LeBron. That's not true. Um, yes, LeBron, through 17 years of his career, has made more um, game-winning shots, per se. He's played more games, played more years, had more minutes. Yes, but if you look at the percentage-wise, and you you factor in the injuries that Kyrie has had and he's played in less seasons than LeBron. You got to go with Kyrie being clutch. More clutch, just a little bit. Now, Kyrie on KD's podcast, The Boardroom, said that it's the first time he played with someone where he doesn't have to be the go-to score. Anyone that watched the Cavs play for those couple of seasons, knew that Kyrie had the last shot, always had plays for him to have the last shot. So that's not a um, that's not a lie or something to make uh, someone's making up. As for Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant is the most clutch player right now. Him, Steph Curry, Kyrie, Clay Thompson. Those are the most clutch players, the top clutch players in the NBA. No one can dispute that. Another topic, LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets. Now, my good bro, 313, subscribe to the, his channel. He's from Detroit. He's a good brother. Now, he's saying if Charlotte drafts LaMelo Ball, LaMelo has to come off the bench. Um, Charlotte doesn't have the team or the structure to, to even do that. And I'm going to say it in a couple things. Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham are combo guards. They're not true point guards. The reason why the Charlotte Hornets have the number three pick is due to the fact that they never played with a true distributor. If they draft LaMelo Ball, LaMelo will be their only distributor on the team. So LaMelo will get minutes off of that. And he fits with uh, Coach B. Uh, he used to coach, he used to be assistant um, for uh, the Spurs. And so he's big on ball movement. I just don't believe LaMelo uh, would be coming off the bench for that team. That doesn't make, make any sense to me. The Charlotte Hornets players have not earned that rep to be automatic starters. They just didn't. They just don't. So if they draft LaMelo Ball, he will be starting. They got to sell tickets. And if it's the Warriors or the Suns, I could understand him coming off the bench. But for the Charlotte Hornets, please. Not even their fans would agree on him coming off the bench. I got a cousin out there in um, Raleigh, North Carolina, big uh, Charlotte Hornets fan. He tells me all the time, he don't really like the ball family like that, but he would love for his team to draft LaMelo because he's the one player that they do not have. He's a real Charlotte Hornet fan. He's not just, you know, a bandwagon fan. He was a fan when they were the Bobcats. He was a fan when they were the original Charlotte Hornets before they moved to New Orleans. So he's telling me that. So if he tells me that, that just tells you what most people in Charlotte believe. They don't have any belief in Terry Rozier. He underperformed last year, and he's not a true point guard. That makes a difference. And last but not least, um, 
let me put this to rest about LaMelo opting out of the NBA draft combine. Once they got enough intel and enough information from certain teams, they pulled out. What I found out is there are specifically a couple of teams that are trying to make a move for LaMelo Ball. Now, in the interviews, I don't know if you could tell, but when he said, well, I don't know, and I don't know if I interviewed, he did that on purpose. I'm trying to tell y'all, LaMelo may go to a team that we didn't even talk about, or we did briefly talk about, but it's not in the media. Y'all got to stay tuned, man. There's going to be some moves in this draft. There's going to be some trades in this draft. There's going to be some fireworks in this draft. So we'll wait and see on that. But all praise to the most high. Peace and blessings to everybody. Peace.